Scottsboro is a city in Jackson County, Alabama, United States. As of the 2010 census, the population of the city is 14,770. Named for its founder Robert T. Scott, the city is the county seat of Jackson County. From its incorporation in 1870 until 1890, it was the largest community in Jackson County, losing the distinction from 1900 to 1920 to Bridgeport, but reclaiming the title in 1930 and holding it since that time. It is located 30 miles each from the state boundaries of Georgia to the east, Dade County, and Tennessee to the north, about 45 miles from Huntsville, Alabama to the west and about 55 miles from Chattanooga, Tennessee to the northeast. The Scottsboro Boys case was among the most important civil rights cases in the history of American jurisprudence. It was twice appealed to the United States Supreme Court twice and established the principles that, in the United States, criminal defendants are entitled to effective assistance of counsel and that people may not be de facto excluded from juries due to their race. In 1931 nine black youths, ranging in age from 12 to 20, were accused in Scottsboro of raping two white women, Victoria Price and Ruby Bates, one of whom would later recant her accusation. During the course of four trials, most of the youths were convicted and sentenced to death by all white juries, although witnesses provided weak and contradictory testimonies. The case is now widely regarded, including in Scottsboro, as one of the worst travesties of justice perpetrated against blacks in the post-Reconstruction South. Only the first trials were held in Scottsboro. Of the original nine young black defendants, some of them minors at the time of arrest, accused of gang raping two fellow hobo white women on a freight train, eight were quickly convicted and sentenced to death by all white juries in trials occurring in a mob atmosphere in Scottsboro. In January, 2004, amidst television cameras and radio and newspaper reporters, a crowd gathered near the Jackson County Courthouse in Scottsboro to dedicate a historical marker commemorating the Scottsboro Boys' trial and their struggle for justice. An 87-year-old black man who attended the ceremony, one of the few who could remember the cases firsthand, recalled that the mob scene following the boys' arrest was frightening and that death threats were leveled against the jail suspects. He applauded the town's move to install the plaque on the courthouse yard. I think it will bring the races closer together, he said, to understand each other better. The Scottsboro Boys Museum was opened in this city in February 2010. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, the city has a total area of 51.7 square miles, 134 square kilometers, of which, 47.3 square miles, 123 square kilometers, of it is a land and 4.4 square miles, 11 square kilometers, of it, 8.47 percent, is water. The water areas are the Tennessee River and its backwaters, 